Hi, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for the love and support that you've given us. Here at Psych2Go, our mission is to make content on mental health and self-help more accessible to everyone. And you help us do that. So thanks again. Now let's continue. What comes to mind when you hear the word therapy? Even in this age and time, for most, it brings to mind a rickety old couch with an old guy beside it, taking notes. Such myths and misconceptions can make people skeptical and wary of the idea. They aren't ready to touch it, even with a 10-foot pole. While only those who have first-hand experience can tell you what a life-changing experience it can be, it gives you someone to talk to and guide you, helping you become your best self. By creating a safe space for you to express yourself, it increases your productivity, clarity, and happiness. Although therapy often has a social stigma, we encourage the Psych2Go community to recognize that therapy can improve life for us all, especially if you've reached a point where the following signs are major factors in your life. So here are five signs it's time to seek therapy. One, you experience uncontrollable sadness or anger. Do you find yourself breaking out into tears for no clear reason? or lashing out at those close to you. Your reactions could suggest that there's something in life that you need to face. In fact, talking or venting to your friends can only do so much, especially if you're too emotional to communicate calmly. Unlike regular people, therapists are trained to maintain a calm, professional, and patient conduct with their clients to help identify and confront their deeper issues plaguing them. Two, you're engaging in addictive or self-destructive behaviors. Do you find yourself binging television or drinking nonstop to avoid thinking about tasks, people, or memories? If so, it means there's a certain something that you need to resolve, but you dread facing it. One of the hardest parts of life is confrontation, confronting friends, colleagues, and most of all, emotions. Self-destructive behaviors can include non-prescribed drugs, TV binging, alcohol, vomiting, or self-harm. You're using these as a way out of confrontation. Many a times it's impossible to pinpoint what is actually bothering you. That's where therapy comes in. Seeking therapy could be the first step to regaining control in and love for your life. It can help you see the elusive factor that's causing you unrest and help you face and solve it. Number three. There's a disconnect between your outer world and your inner world. Do you feel like you're a different person around your friends? Are you perhaps the group clown, but feel like an audience member in the circus of life? That's disconnect. Often described as having separate faces socially and privately, it's a sign that you may not feel in touch with yourself. Therapy could help you find and express your authentic self. Number four. Your relationships are suffering. Do you find yourself building walls? Are you distancing yourself from friends or family? Such defensive behavior could indicate trust or self-esteem issues that prevent you from connecting with the people around you. As a result, you might be seeing some of your relationships break apart, which creates emotional baggage and a vicious cycle of isolation. The objective view of a therapist can be essential in bringing clarity to your relationships. Therapy can help you sort out your priorities and refocus your mind. And number five, you feel like you don't have control over your thoughts. Are nonstop thoughts about the past or the future making you lose sleep? Do you miss out on moments with your family or the feeling of being in the present because of these thoughts? If you find yourself stuck in a cycle of negativity, thinking obsessively about failures or mistakes, therapy can help alleviate the constant anxiety you may feel. In the end, seeking therapy is seeking help to become a better person, and it's important to break the stigma. Therapy is an incremental and two-way process. Instead of a eureka moment, it allows you to take a bird's eye view of things. It helps uncover your strengths to help you cope with the trampoline that is life. Did you find yourself nodding along with any of the points? Are you now able to see therapy in a better light? Do you know of anyone who needs to change their attitude towards getting therapy? Let us know in the comments below. 
If you found this video insightful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share it with someone who might benefit from it too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.